The Bible said without faith it is impossible to please God. But it goes on in the same verse that if we come to him, we must believe that he is, that is a, he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. The word that's in that verse, Zach, we must believe that he is. The Bible said in the fourth, in the fourth chapter of St. John, Zach and them wrote that, Zach and Jessica wrote that song, Jessica and Zach, however you want to say it. When this woman met Jesus Christ, the Bible said that she went and told her fellow man, her friends, she said, come see a man that told me all that ever I've done. Is not this the Christ? The Bible said in the 11th chapter of Hebrews, we must believe that he is. That woman said, is not this the Christ? Praise the Lord. The Bible said in the 15th chapter of St. Mark, after that Jesus had cried with a loud voice, given up the ghost, the veil of the temple was rent in twain. The Bible said that the centurion standing there said, truly this was the Son of God. But the Bible said in Hebrews Acts, we must believe that he is. Now the word of God was written and passed down to the ages of time. But there's people that have studied history and a lot of people has dug up. Some folks in those days kept tracks even though that there wasn't Bibles and even though that there wasn't paper like we had it today. They passed the story down over the years. All of the acts that happened do uh, before the life of Jesus and after the life of Jesus began. Down to the ages of time, there's an ancient legend that has been passed along down to the years. And this legend tells that back many years ago, there was two men by the name, one by the name of Titus and the other by the name of Dumachus, and said that these men were thieves and robbers, and they're known that they was known all around for their crookedness. They said one day there was a group of people, there was a man by the name of Joseph, a woman by the name of Mary, and a baby named Jesus, and they was fleeing to Egypt with a great caravan of people. This legend tells that these two men came upon this caravan and said that they was begin to rob them and take what that they had. This man by the name of Dumachus said his, his plot, his idea was to kill Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus, not knowing who they was. And as this man was going to take their lives, his friend Titus walked up to him, said, leave this man and woman and this little boy alone. And said, he said, no, I'm going to kill him. But this legend tells that a man by the name of Titus talked his friend out of it. Anyway, as they begin to depart, legend says that Titus turned and walked back to Mary and Joseph, looked at the baby, and looked at the baby, and he stood there for, seemed like a long period of time, and he looked in that baby's eyes, and he said, if I pass ever cross again, for some reason, I feel compelled to tell you this. Let this act today bring forth mercy upon my life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Many years later, over 30 years later, the Bible said that records that they took this man named Jesus being 33 years of age. Listen, nothing happens by accident. Nothing is mere chance. Legend records that. And I don't know if it's real or not. But anyway, the Bible said that they took this man named Jesus being 33 years of age, informed him that he was going to uh, be crucified with two other people. And history records that these men that was crucified with Jesus was, listen, they was twice the age of him at least. Think about it for 
just a minute. They were all men, and Jesus being a young man of 33 years old, listen to me. Remember Titus said, looked in the eyes of this baby, and he said, I don't know why I'm saying this, but remember this act of kindness today. Thank God forever. I don't know if that agent, listen, I don't know if that story is true or not, but I do know that the Bible records that there was a man beside Jesus looked at him and said, remember me when you hear your kingdom. He is the Son of God. Amen. Hebrews said we must believe that he is. The woman in St. John chapter 4 said truly this was. Mark chapter 15, the centurion said, truly this was the son of God. The woman said, come see a man, is not this the Christ? But Hebrews records that he, we must believe. Thank God forever. When I come to Jesus, I didn't know nothing, but I believed in my heart that he is the son of God. We've got to believe that he is. Amen. Father, I don't know what you got in store. But, oh, Father God, work your work as only you can. Help us to believe that you are. If there's anybody under the sound of my voice that don't know you in a pardon and forgiveness of sin, let them know that all they got to do, all they got to know is that you're the only one that can Amen. save. That you are our Redeemer. That you are our Savior. And that you are our only hope. We praise you and we honor you. It's in your name we pray. Yes, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Didn't know I was going to say all that, but I'm not taking a word of it back unless I mispronounced something or misquoted something. But he is the Son of God and we must believe that he Amen. is. Well, praise the Lord. Roseanne called this morning. She's under the weather, went to church to pray. We've got many needs.